Hello, welcome back to the British Content Channel. Today we are doing a affinity slash leveling guide. So this is going to cover pretty much all the best methods to level frames specifically, and obviously weapons will be thrown in there a little bit as well. Um, we've got the stealth leveling method. We've got lots of ESO strategies and sanctuary onslaught strategies. Uh, yeah, obviously this is to help prepare for Daviri, the new update. So. Obviously, if you find this useful, hit that subscribe and like button, you know, that cliche stuff, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. But first, a big announcement. Uh, I'm doing a 2000 Platinum giveaway to celebrate the 2000 subscriber milestone. It's going to be hosted in my Discord server, which is in the description. Go in there, there'll be a thing that you can react to. So yeah, good luck with that, and let's get into it. Okay, before we start leveling stuff, let's consider how Affinity actually works, so we can be efficient. Uh, let's first look at Warframe Affinity. So 100% of the Affinity from Warframe Ability Kills goes to the Warframe. Your weapons will not gain anything if you nuke with a Warframe. And that still applies even if the Warframe is level 30. So let's say, if you're trying to level a Kuva Brahma and you're nuking with Sarion, the Kuva Brahma is not benefiting from any of that XP. The only XP it's gaining is shared XP from other people, which we'll look at in a second. So, if you want to level a Warframe, either getting kills with the nuke abilities or subsuming on a nuke ability is pretty much the most efficient way to level. The next thing to look at is how weapon affinity works. So, each weapon in the game gets affinity when you get a kill with it, or if it gets shared XP, but that's different, we'll look at that in a sec. So, let's say I'm trying to level a Kuva Brahma. If I get a kill with the Kuva Brahma, 50% of that XP will go to the Brahma. 50% will go to my Warframe. Even if the Warframe is level 30, it doesn't matter, you still only get 50%. None of the other weapons will get any XP apart from the Brahma. To level a weapon, you have to get kills with that specific weapon. So let's say I'm trying to level uh, the Latum or whatever, and I get a kill with the Brahma. The Latum is not going to benefit from that at all. However, this does open up the possibility to level Warframes quickly by using weapon XP. So if you nuke, for example, Sanctuary Onslaught very quickly with the Brahma, you're going to gain a decent amount of frame XP. And then finally we have shared XP. So shared XP is 75% of someone else's XP going to everything that you have equipped. So let's say you have a primary, a secondary, a Warframe and a companion, and a Sarian gets 1000 XP. 750 XP is going to be split between everything that you have equipped. So if you're planning to leech shared XP, unequip as much as you can apart from the stuff you're trying to level. And without further ado, let's take a look at the first method. So before we start throughout this whole thing, here's some tips. Run Smi to Kavat and make sure you have Charm equipped. That's because you can get the affinity boost, which basically makes everything super easy. And run Tech Enhance, that makes the affinity proc last longer. Yes, I am now using Tech Enhance, I have heard your comments, relax people. And the second thing would be, if you don't have Prime Surefooted, just slot your Naru, and you can use this Prime Surefooted clone right here. Um, however, you will have to press 5 every once in a while, but that's no problem really, it's worth it for the Prime Surefoot for free. Okay, so our first method of levelling is going to be using the Stealth Multiplier, and this is from Banshee's Silence, that is the Helmet ability from Banshee. We subsume it onto our first ability because, you know, when you former, your ability is based on your mastery rank level, but the first ability levels up quicker than all the other ones. So you need the Savage Silence Augment. This opens the enemies up to finisher damage and allows us to get Stealth Multiplier from them. And then everything else you see on here is optional. So the range I've gone with is 145. The reason for that is if the range is too big, the enemies get stunned really far away and you're not close enough to kill them. And then on top of that, I've just gone with a lot of duration so that I don't have to cast uh, Silence over and over again. And I've got a little bit of efficiency in there. Enemy Radar is just so that I can track enemies and that's that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'll, I'll just show you really quick how we do that and let's get into it. And to stop us running out of ammo, we have to use a little bit of a different Brahma build. So here it is, we're running Arrow Mutation and we're running Ammo Drum. I don't actually have the primed arrow mutation, but if you do have it, obviously throw that on there. Uh, the, the rest of the build really doesn't matter. I'm using Amalgam Serration for the sprint speed and Firestorm for the AoE range. And that's that's about it. You don't need anything else on the build, just these two and then Firestorm and Serration. And then, yeah, we're good to go. 
So there's two different tiles I actually want to be doing this. You have Saturn, Celesto, that's my preferred one. The enemies bunch up quite close together on this map, so it's really easy. And then the other one you have is Adaro on Sedna. Uh, this one's a lot higher of a level than the one on Saturn, but the enemies spread out and you can have some really big rooms. So I personally prefer Telesto. So once we load in, you cast Silence, kill the enemies, and as you can see in the top right, I now have 200% stealth multiplier. So you run through the mission as quickly as you can, just blowing up all the enemies that are silenced, and it's as simple as that. And there we go. So I did a 1 minute 55 run, just running, and I got to level 28. That's without a blessing, that's literally just a booster, and it's that simple. I just ran through the mission, blew everything up. And uh, yeah, you can be a little bit more careful to not lose your multiplier and you'll get to 30 very, very easily. And obviously if you have a blessing, that's straight to 30. You can also do something similar with Equinox. Now Equinox has Rest and Rage, and that is Equinox Helmet ability. You can use the Sleep from Night Form to open enemies up to stealth damage. And that allows you to pretty much do the same thing as the banshee method however it is a lot slower and i do honestly suggest just using the silence method if you have that available so the next two methods we're going to look at are both part of sanctuary onslaught leveling um, and the first one is using helminth the second one is no helminth so the first one is thermal sunder basically this allows us to level a frame super quick because we have a nuking ability on the frame and we get 100 percent of the xp simple so on this frame i've just thrown something random together you don't need a full build but i've gone with a good amount of range and a decent amount of strength plus a little bit of efficiency you don't need prime sure footed i just put it there because i like it growing powers for the extra strength and then yeah arcane energize for the energy you don't need a full build and obviously you won't be able to put one on if you just form it now of course if you're mastery rank 30 you can enter elite sanctuary onslaught after forming if not just go into normal sanctuary onslaught and i do recommend doing it on public but i'm going to do it on invite only just for this video so all you want to do is uh, hold 1 and then press 1. And as you can see the enemies die just insanely quickly. Now I do actually have a Kavat proc right now. So I'm going to get a lot more affinity than you would normally. But what you can do is hold 1 for heat and then tap 1 to make blast. And that gives you a ton of extra damage. And because of the Kavat proc I'm now already rank 30. But this is absolutely destroying the enemies that spawn as you can see. And you just repeat this over and over again and you farm just tons of XP like this. A good thing about Sanctuary Onslaught as well, you can farm like the Radiant Relics every two waves, which obviously appeals to some people. And I'll occasionally just jump into Sanctuary Onslaught because I can't be bothered to Helminth Silence onto the frame or something. And there we go, so I earned over a million XP with this, so that's pretty insane. Um, and yeah, it's as simple as that really, just running around in a circle and you're good to go. So the next method is very very simple, we're going to be using no helmet at all, ignore raw, we're not using that, uh, and we're going to be using a Kuva Brahma, again, exact same build, arrow mutation and ammo drum, unequip every single thing apart from the Kuva Brahma, and if you don't have prime short footed of course run Inaru. All we're going to do with this method, we're going to go into Sanctuary Onslaught and we're going to just kill loads of enemies with the Brahma. We're going to play on public so that we can get shared XP from other players and let's go. So of course making sure we've got it set to public, Sanctuary Onslaught. Now the thing with Sanctuary Onslaught, a lot of the time the hosts are like 4000 ping for some reason. I don't know what it is with Sanctuary Onslaught but yeah it seems to be like that a lot. Alright so once we're in start blowing stuff up now of course this is what happens but you want to proc your Yunaru thing and then start shooting and so after two rounds of sanctuary onslaught as you can see we're now max rank just barely uh, nobody on the team is really nuking this revenant would do it occasionally but yeah with someone nuking of course you're going to get much more shared xp but yeah this is it's all right it's not efficient but it's you know it works so that's all that matters okay so we're moving on to weapon leveling we're going to use Equinox Prime with the same build I showed before, and we're going to use Rest and Rage. Uh, I do suggest putting Hush onto the weapon you're trying to level, just in case you forget to sleep somebody and they won't hear your gunshots. Okay, so all we're going to do, put the enemies to sleep with Equinox 2, walk up to them, and shoot them in the face. As you can see, we get a stealth multiplier, and we just go around and do this to everybody. 
Alright, so it took me like six minutes to get to rank 28, because I'm terrible at this method and I never use it, but yeah. It's, it exists. However, honestly, the method I would suggest to level weapons is just go and sit in Elite Sanctuary Onslaught with nothing else equipped, like this. Uh, and just pretty much benefit off shared XP from other people. <laughs> it's, it might sound a bit cheap, but whatever. So I'm going to go Public, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, and see what happens. So quite often there'll be somebody nuking for like focus and stuff in Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, so you can just kind of chill out while they do their thing. I usually take a uh, dispensary so that I can give them energy and stuff like that, and uh, it just helps them out a little bit. And so as you can see, after one round of infested uh, Sanctuary Onslaught, I'm ranked 29. Now Grenier give much more XP than infested, uh, and Corpus give more than infested as well, so any other tile set and I would have been maxed out by now. Alright, I hope you found these lovely methods useful. Hopefully it lets you prepare for the new update coming soon. Uh, remember, giveaway in the Discord server, join, description, cool. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.